hi my beautiful pisces welcome to my channel goddess of light 11 11 if you are new to my channel welcome if you are returning subscribers welcome back this reading is for my lovely beautiful pisces sun moon rising venus and jupiter thank you god thank you universe universal energies ancestors spirit guy i can just ascend it masters please give my lovely pisces a clear precise honest message for the highest good oh i'm a lovely piscean let's see what the universe has for you if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe the like and the notification bell below and if you are returning subscribers welcome back so i do appreciate each and every one of you that are supporting my channel and i'm sending lots of blessing love and light to you so hold your vision is at the bottom sweet what is the message you have for my lovely pisces what do you have for pisces spirit so we have bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so you guys could be dealing with an aqua but i felt like <clears throat> I feel like you guys are definitely, um, you know, don't create any any mess you have to clean up later. That's what spirit is saying. You don't need to create any things, any mess later for you. So if you do the right thing the first time, so you don't have to clean it up later. So I feel like if you guys can bring love, bring forgiveness into a situation, I feel like you guys will be able to move forward the right way the way you're supposed to the answer you need are coming so whatever is full moon in gemini so if you guys are trying to find some type of answers and stuff spirit say love love will bring you the clarity the love that you share with this person the love you have for this person will bring you the clarity you are seeking. Whether for some of you, you want to know whether this person is still love you, uh, spirit say yes, they do, but you need to try to find it within you. The love within you, that's what they say. Bring love into the situation is could be to love yourself first and everything else will work out. See, work through your fears no more in scorpio so okay so that's what i'm saying if you you know like if you bring love which is that loving yourself for caring for yourself first and stuff like that you know what i'm saying because we when we love ourselves we can love others when we give ourselves unconditional love we can also give that to others or and also others will return the favors and tenfold the universe love you unconditionally god love you unconditional so it's the same thing bring love love yourself continue to focus on your healings i feel like for some of you you might have some work some healing work you might have to do i know you guys are very intuition i know you guys are very intelligent very smart um you know uh, that's the feelings that i'm getting here but there is certain fears that is, you know, uh, creeping up your life and stuff like that. You need to remove yourself from. A new romantic cycle begins. Beautiful. So there's no start for you guys. So it's okay to release. It's okay to let go. It's okay to say, you know what? I'm letting you go. I'm freeing myself. I feel like you guys need to free yourself from a situation. See, yep. See, pay attention to the red flags. I feel like you guys need to love yourself and free yourself from a situation here let someone know hey i love you but i can't be with you there you go separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon i can feel that energy that's what i was feeling here so it's a bring love into it and stuff let the person know you love them but it's time for you to go because you can't sitting there i know a relationship that you know you cannot solve you cannot uh, you can't save everyone pisces it's time to disconnect from the wall yep so it's time to be by yourself meditation contemplate it and stuff go into retreat because whomever you are with and stuff like that there's separation or this person is there's going to be some type of yeah separation codependency addiction are affecting your romantic life for some of you, you could be dealing with a capricorn 
Who is coming towards Pisces? Spirit, who is coming towards Pisces? So, who is coming towards you? It could be another High Priestess. It could be another Pisces. It could be Cancer. It could be a Scorpio. Which, whichever. I felt like there's someone in here that's coming towards you guys. But they have some type of secret. And we have Ten of Swords. So there could have been some type of betrayal. Ten of Swords is in the reverse. So this person is coming and let you know something is over. Something is done. We, they want, they're want coming back to telling you they want some type of healings. But this person is secretly, they're holding to some type of secrets. Someone feel like you are their wish fulfillment. You are a dream come true. You make their wish and dream come true here. I feel like you make someone very happy, Pisces. That's what this person is coming towards you guys. So it could be another Pisces like yourself. The Nine of Cups is your energy. So there's someone that you make you make this person very happy. They are your wish fulfillment and stuff. That's how this person feel. What is this person attention toward Pisces? What this person attention towards Pisces? the wall yeah a cycle is ended this is there's a new beginning this person is coming for a renewal or we do or we start the tower wow look at that oh my god major corners so i feel like man there's some type of major ending major distraction we have the wall the tower ten of swords there was some type of major ending between you and this person and someone in here is learning some type of lessons yeah you guys could be dealing with an aquarius but i felt like after this major ending and stuff wish fulfillment or not and stuff like that someone want to heal with you they want to heal because there's going to be some type of spiritual enlightenment where you guys um put this behind you where you where this person is coming towards you guys for some type of healing because someone you're dealing with they went through a major trauma in their life. They went through a major transformation, major change, major ending. They get, they went through a major karma, but they still, I feel like this person, what they remain is that they still hold it on to the love they share with you. What does this person want to say to Pisces? What they want to say to Pisces? They want a new passionate new beginning. Yeah, someone wants the passionate new beginning because they still love you. Like I say, I feel like your love holds this person together, Pisces. Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. Your love is what holding this person together. So um, the Emperor, this could be someone you have. It could be an ex-husband. It could be an ex-boyfriend. It could be someone you have children with a father figure. Someone that is very structured, very uh, that have some type of leadership skill. I feel like someone in here very much they are um, very stable when it's come to to themselves this is someone that very confident they have self-empowered here very grounded very stable but i feel like whomever this person is like i say it could be um someone you have children with But what this person wants to say to you is that they want they want some type of stability with you. They want some type of, you know, they want to be a father. They want to be a husband. I feel like that's what this person is telling you. They want some type of stability with you. After this major heartache, this major sadness, this major um, chaos, obstacle they want into their life, they come in to telling you, not only they love you not only they they still want some type of stable relationship with you but they want to bring some type of passionate new beginning between you guys palace of coin is at the bottom so yeah this person is mean uh what they say here they want something serious with you they want they want to make fix fix things they want to make things right clarify the wall please clarify the wall Look at that. The wall clarified the tower. 
So there could not be, I felt like Pisces, there could not be someone, it could be a sister, a sister, an auntie, a cousin, I don't know. Someone, a mother figure, someone that is nurturing, someone that is a um, motherly, uh, that's got some type of motherly aspect of them. This person did something that's bring some type of tower moment. That's what I'm feeling here. This Queen of Cups did something that's bring a tower moment, that's bring heartbreak. But I feel like whatever this person caused and stuff like that is bringing a major tower moment that brings some type of heartbreak. But this person might have done, you know, I feel like this person, whatever they have done, they've done it out of jealousy. Someone is jealous of you. Whatever this person have done, they've done it out of jealousy. Whatever the heartbreak they cause you, they cause it out of, out of jealousy. Clarify the tower. Yeah, someone planned this. Wow. Let me tell you, someone, because this person wanted to have some type of new beginning, they wanted to have some type of, someone strategically planned. They strategize, strategize plan this chaos to bring harm to you. This person bring the harm, the chaos, they plan this. This is this no you see the ace of what this is something this person planned just because they wanted some new beginning. This person could have wanted to sleep with you know someone here. They could have wanted to sleep with you, they could have wanted something here. They planned this chaos, this drama, whatever this is and stuff like that. I feel like someone planned the tower. They planned all of this. Someone could have did plan some type of evidence. But I feel like this person, uh, the drama, the hatred, they do it out of jealousy and envy. This, I feel like someone in here still, even if this happened in the past and stuff like that, someone is still jealous of you. They're still envious of you because this person could have been wanted in your relationship. They could have been wanted someone you are with and stuff like that. And they're creating all of that drama out of jealousy and envy. Wow, clarify the high priestess, but I feel like you know this. Yep, I'm telling you, there's the emperor again. There's the emperor. I feel like the emperor regretted because they could have been dealing with another with another person they were partnering with. Someone in here could have threw the other one under the bus. King of Pentacles and King of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and the Emperor. I felt like whomever this is and stuff like that. Someone betrayed. Someone betrayed your person, Pisces. I'm I'm not feeling this is as something to do with you per se. I feel like someone betrayed your person. This Earth time might have been betray your person, threw your person under the bur under the bus here, just for the heck of it and stuff, out of because of jealousy and envy. But now this person is regret what they have done. Wow, what a reading! We started this. This is a new year. We started this. Whatever this betrayal was done. It has to, everything to do with jealousy and envy. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is someone you're very fond of. This person is very fond of you. Six of Cups. Cisco, this is someone you know from your past. This is someone you know for a very long time. Even if you didn't know this person when, even if you know, if you don't know this person in the past life, this is someone you know since, you know, childhood when they were young, you both were young and stuff like that. With the Knight of Wands here and the Page of Wands, I feel like this is someone that you guys are still very fond of each other. Someone wants to communicate with you that really doesn't want things between you guys to be messed up they don't want the things between you guys to be over clarify the emperor please clarify the emperor yeah there was some type of third party involved yep i told you 
this person was betrayed the emperor was betrayed by i feel like someone in here betrayed by you know someone from their past three of cups seven of pentacles and five of pentacles someone in here wanting you to suffer someone in here want even if it's not you it could have like i'm feelings i'm not feeling this is have something to do with you i feel like this is something to do with someone you were dealing with that's what i'm feeling here pisces wow your reading your person whomever you are dealing with they want a passionate new beginning with you they likes you this person still have feeling for you they still have love for you but this person is going through some type of major heartache Someone could be, whatever they have done is have to do with jealousy and envy. The betrayal, it has, the betrayal has done, it has everything to do with jealousy and envy. The reason that you are separated, because there is someone in the family, there was someone, it could be a mother, it could be a sister that was jealous of you, that was envious of you and stuff like that that's ended your relationship mm. wow clarify the star and i feel like the judgment it is beautiful i felt like the your spirit the universe the judgment here is for you to, you know, you have been protected spiritually. You have been guarded. You know, you might be uh, have to protect yourself spiritually. That's what I'm feeling here. Judgment, it is that you are protected spiritually. And we have six of pentacles at the bottom. Six of pentacles, the moon, and five of wands. Yeah, whatever it is, betrayal and stuff like that, this is due to jealousy and envy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. A love reading that turned into, let's see, oh, love oracle messages. But I feel like whomever you are dealing with, they are healing from this. So we have regret. Yeah, someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. So like I say, I felt like someone is betraying you. The reason they betrayed you is because of jealousy and envy. Because there was envious of your relationship, there was envious and jealousy or jealous of your relationship, and this person betrayed you. Different page. You and this person don't share the same vision. Yeah, this is someone now. You don't say you don't share the same vision. Uh, that's what I'm feeling here. But wow, mm. time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Time apart. Some distance will bring you guys some type of clarity, Pisces. I'm sorry, whatever you have, you went through, because there's so many tower here. They, there's so many tower here. There's three towers in this reading, and not only that, there's the Ten of Swords and then there's the World twice. It let me know that someone went through a major, major things in their lives, and I felt like that was done unfairly. But yeah, you need to cut the cords with certain people in your life, whether it's family, friends, you know, however this person is and stuff to you. But I feel like it's a blessing, you know, whatever this person have done to you, whatever that, you know, whatever that chaos that causes in your life, you know, spirits said to cut the cords. Again, Pisces, I don't know what there is in. You keep having to cut the cords from people. That's because people are chaotic drama. They keep bringing into your life and you need to cut the cords. And you know what the funny part is? It will be, a, you know, there will be blessing and abundance. You will be blessed. Whatever chaos and drama people cause in your life and stuff like that, it will bring you 
it will bring you peace it will bring you blessing it will bring you abundance because i feel like you are spiritually protected you are spiritually guarded uh guided here all right pisces that's all i have for you guys don't forget to like subscribe and share the video bye pisces